Welcome back to another edition of the Yodelcast. I am your host, Doc Lettuce, solo casting for you tonight as I bring you a warm-up for the ESL tournament between working as intended and a mixed group of people featuring players from Heartbreakers and, I believe, IDK, uh, as well as a couple others. Uh, so the game is getting underway here on Crossfire. I don't know how many maps are going to be played, but I'm going to give you guys a roster rundown. On the mixed team, we have FXLB, Miri, Crystal Light Impaler, Greg the Eunuch, and Miri. Or Knutson, sorry. And on Diamond Sword, we have Working as Intended with Arcadizzle, NVC, Icy Pan, Shakali, Johnny the Juicy J, Streen, and G Reaper. Uh, I know that Working as Intended is going to be trying out a couple of strategies, and this is, they are obviously facing a mixed team, so it's going to be interesting. And as I get started here with Impaler, making the nice grab out the side route, 230. 720 health. He's got a couple sniper shots on him. He's going down to about 500 health. Shakali, in the meantime, making a grab on the other side. Doesn't look like he's got any chases on him, but we will swap to him as Impaler is all the way back at his base. As Shakali is down to 327 health. Sniper fire is coming in there. He's going about 170. He's making it back to his base, though. LB is there. Impaler has dropped the flag in the meantime. Shakali is going down, though. He's only got 200 health. There's a lot of chain gun fire. He tosses it off to G Reaper just in time. Although G Reaper's already get down to 950 health. Miri's coming in here to try and do something about it, and on the other side we had a quick toss off there to Crystal Light with our first standoff, and G Reaper's going to be hanging onto the flag. He's probably going to toss it off here in a second so we can heal, but they are going to be staying on top of their base, uh, and it's going to be the same on the other side with Knutson holding on to it. Currently in a soldier, he's got to be careful though. They are O sniping, uh, so both teams are going to be hanging out on their base. That's very interesting. Uh, you see Icy Pan there in an infiltrator, about to Sonic punch. Sonic punches the flag, goes down on the field. Icy Pan swooping in to try and get this retrieve, and he manages to get it. A nice job by him. NVC coming in here for the cap. There we go. 1-0. Four working as intended over the mixed team. Good play by them, but Impaler making a continuation grab. He's not going anywhere. Arcadizzle takes him out, and a quick return. Uh, so an action pilled, filled, sorry. Action piled, filled, standoff. First couple minutes there, resulting in a fairly fast return with uh, Icy Pan playing that infiltrator here. Uh, doing a nice job getting that flag off the base and getting himself the return. I wasn't sure he was going to get the return, but in the end he did. It's interesting to see how he's setting up here. I wonder if he's going to go for a cap or something. That's bizarre. Um, as far as what's allowed and not, I believe everything is banned from the new patch, including the lightweight perk. So it's going to be interesting to see how chasing holds up as Impaler grabs the flag, getting out the side, 332, one sniper shot will take him down, Arcadizzle's being heavily dueled by LB though, he's not going to be able to do anything in the meantime, Icy Pan also grabbing the flag, four working as intended, he's got full health on the other hand, running all the way back to his base, he's got there, no problems, Miri is on him, but only chaining him down slightly, LB's there to add on a little bit of pain. He's down to below 500, down to 300. In the meantime, his flag was returned. He is going to get this cap. No! He gets taken out by Miri. A nice shot by Miri, who's trying desperately to bounce the flag and stop it from getting picked up as he does go down. Streen's going to pick it up here and probably get the cap. No one else is going to be in here in the meantime. And there we go. 2-0 for working as intended. Uh, the lack of the lightweight perk there really prevented uh, the mixed team from getting anyone in there in time uh, because they just couldn't build up speed fast enough. Uh, so looking at the defenses, we are going with the three defense on both teams, it seems. Uh, Impaler comes in there now, gets taken out by uh, G Reaper and Arcadizzle. Miri comes in a little bit too late to do some distracting, but LB is there with the pickup. Uh, he's already being chained down, down to 20 health. That was some fast damage, and G Reaper and NVC get a nice return. So it will be those two plus Arcadizzle on the defense, I believe. And on the other side, we do have Greg the Eunuch, Ethix, and probably Knutson. Uh, as Shakali does get out with a sliver of health, 14 health, he's really going to go nowhere. One sniper shot will finish him. There there we go, Knutson coming out from nowhere and taking him out. Miri's going to be able to get the return fairly easily, and there we go. So, we, oh, it looks like Crystallite's actually on defense there. No, nope. Two defensive setup, maybe? No, Ethics is hanging around back at the base, so it is Greganoush. Epics, and it will be Knutson as well when he responds, and Impaler getting out with yet another grab. He's doing a good job, but he is slowed. Looks like he must have hit something. He's being chained down really fast. Tried to toss it after Crystal Light, but the toss actually caused it to bounce in the wrong direction, and the flag is probably going to be returned here as Crystal Light goes down to NBC. LB coming in to try and do something, but not enough as Shakali gets taken out there by Greg Anoush. Okay, so some continuous action by these two teams. It's great to see. I like that the mixed team's getting a good amount of grabs off and putting up a bit of a fight. I expected uh, working as intended to take it, uh, and they are winning 2-0 right now, but, you know, it's good to see the mixed team at least making them 
work pretty hard for it. As Crystal Light's coming in here to do a little bit of spamming, and Paler's coming in, gets the flag, but goes down to his own teammate. That's a little bit of lack of coordination there. Blaming, blaming Crystal Light for that one, who punts it away, but it's really going to go nowhere, and just buying his team a little bit of time, as NVC is going to be able to return this fairly easily. Miri and LB were both sort of going in for it. Shikali going way up in the air there. He gets sniped down by Knutson. It's not exactly going to work all that well if he gets spotted. Uh, Miri's coming in to start doing some capping now as well. He does manage to get the flag, and he is getting up, but he gets to take these suicides, actually. That's uh, not sure what happened there. Impaler, in the meantime, I believe he might have tried to punt it over to Impaler, who picked it up and started going, but not really going to go anywhere. As some Murph spam comes in, but Streen just slides right through it and gets the return. So an interesting possible strategy there. I think they might be trying to grab it, punt it, and uh, get sort of a flag tossing mechanic going that way, which would be really interesting to see if they man you know, if they pulled that off, that would be fantastic, because I don't believe Impaler is part of uh, Heartbreakers, so two random people from, well, not randoms, but two people from unrelated teams coming and doing some nice tosses, gotta love to see that, as Impaler does get blocked off there by G Reaper, some good defense by him. So that means we are going to be having more action on the other stand. Uh, never mind, Miri is not going to let, make my life easy, but he does get mowed down here by NVC, and the flag is just simply returned. On the other side, Icy Pan doing a little bit of spamming there. I believe he's still in the infiltrator. Yes, he is. I don't see Shikali anywhere. There he is. He's just setting up now. He's going up pretty high in the air. If he gets spotted, that's going to be a problem because Knutson's doing a very good job at shutting him down. There we go. He's already got a beat on him. And the sniper shot hit him, so he's not even going to be able to regen. And he does get taken out. He might want to start looking into a couple other routes. Uh, or someone needs to really take care of Knutson, as they're starting to do now. Both Icy Pan and Streen are starting to push a little bit on him. But Impaler, in the meantime, making a grab, getting out of there again. But he's fairly slow. He's got no health either. One shot from a sniper should finish him. But Arcanizel just respawned. He could be able to get this all the way back to his base. He's very low, though. He punts it off before, and Epix coming in here makes the nice midair grab. Good job. Icy Pan is the only one there. No, Shakali comes flying in with a nice Nitron and is bouncing the flag and bounces it perfectly into him and gets the return. So good play there by Shikali, uh, preventing that cap, because if he was not there, that easily would have been one. Uh, good play, though, by the mixed team, getting the flag all the way back to their base. A nice grab by Epix, but I'm not so sure he needed to actually punt that quite so early. Um... I know Arcadiz will just respawn, but, you know, there wasn't really anyone around. He could have afforded to keep going a little bit further, maybe. And, uh, but, you know, if Shikali wasn't there, it would have worked out perfectly, and I'd be complimenting it. So, in the meantime, Impaler getting out with another side-to-side -side grab, but he's only got 140. does go down to Arcadiz. No one really here in the field to pick this up, so it's probably going to be an easy return. NVC is coming to do that now. Let's keep an eye on this stand to see if any cappers are coming in here. I don't see Shikali anywhere. No, it looks like he's just respawned. He is switching up routes now. That's good, uh, because Knutson probably took him out. We do have a Shrike here on the field. Uh, it's going to be Crystal Light in it. Let's see how this can change the game. There's obviously no Doombringers, so no missiles are going to be on, but a lot of chain gun fire could uh, cause some problems, although he does have still a good amount of health. Uh, doing some nice spam. Oh, Shakali getting out that time with the flag, but he gets taken down by Crystal Light's uh, turret, actually. So, he must have been sniped a little bit beforehand to do that stream coming in to try and make the pick up in the air. Noah gets bounced away from him. He is going to pick it up, but he's got no health. He's going to go down very quickly. Punts it off, but only LB is there, really. Shikali's coming in now, trying to make a pick up, but it's probably not going to be there. He misses it! Oh, what a shame for Shikali. That would have been a nice, fun little pick up there, but instead they get the return as we are going to have a Shrike duel, and we don't get to see these very often, so I'm sorry. I know you guys hate watching Shrikes, but I do want to watch it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he just rams it and prevents Crystal Light from playing in the Shrike, or if he's actually going to go for the kill, but in the meantime, Impaler getting there out with the flag. Crystal Light is going to support him. Will Johnny get him? And it looks like Crystal Light knows he's just waiting. He's baiting him, but instead of going after the flag, Johnny is going to keep going after Crystal Light, so we are going to watch Impaler now. Icy Pan there gets a nice discos. He, he might have even been able to do a Sonic Punch, but instead he does mow down Impaler with a nice little bit of chain gun fire. There's Epix and LB there to pick it up. LB does get it and does not get hit by the grenade. Some good choice by him. Punts it off. Not quite sure why he did that so early. Uh, they had more than enough people there, and... Oh, Stream barely misses the flag, but he does manage to get back onto it and gets the return, keeping the score 2-0. Uh, some interesting punt choices going on here. I think I feel like they're punting a little too early. Uh, I mean, they had more than enough people there to win the duels. I don't think they needed to get that punt off, but once again, if it had worked, I would have been praising it. So, hey, you know... Uh, but it looks like the defenses have really tightened up here, uh, because, you know, it's been a good five minutes since Working as Intended got their last cap. 
Uh, so it's going to be fun to see how they change things up and see if they can manage to get a, another cap off here, or if they're going to be uh, confident just with a 2-0 win. Uh, I'd like to see them keep going for it, and I'm pretty sure we will, because this is just a friendly after all. As Impaler's getting out with another side-to-side -side grab, he's really getting a lot of nice grabs off. Uh, Arcadizzle does seem to be dead, so there's going to be no sniper fire coming in. He's going to make this all the way back to his base. He does only have 450 health, though. Someone could easily intercept him and take him out. Arcadizzle is getting ready to go back into sniper position now, I believe. No, he's switched to a Pathfinder. Uh, he's coming into crash stand. Shakali, in the meantime, getting out with a nice grab, but he has no health left. 28. Impaler, in the meantime, does get mowed down, and the flag is returned. Great play there by Johnny. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see exactly what happened, but I did see he was chain gunned down, and uh, I assume he got the return. Crystalite there with the E-grab in that heavy. Shikali still with 78 health. He does punt the flag all the way over his base, unfortunately. A little bit of a missed punt. Uh, LB and Impaler and FX are all going to be roughly coming in for this. G-Reaper coming in for it, too. They're bouncing the flag. LB gets killed by G-Reaper, but a nice return. Crystalite, in the meantime, had the flag at his base, but he was just taken down, and the flag bounced right into Streen, giving them a nice return. And Impaler keeping up the action, but he gets taken out really quickly with a nice snipe there from Arcadizzle. Uh, that was a grab of opportunity. There was really no distraction there at the time, but it was a good attempt nonetheless, uh, because he might have gotten out, and if he had, well, who knows? Uh, so we are still here with a 2-0 scoreline just under 14 minutes ago. Uh, Certainly one of the more action-packed games I've seen. It's very entertaining. Uh, screen here dueling Knutson a little bit, trying to take out this sniper for Shikali, but Knutson is dueling him right back, and, you know, Screen is very low, so is Knutson. It's going to be an interesting, and they both go down at the same time. Shikali now has 10 seconds to get here on the fly. We see him coming in now. He's regening up now. They need to do get some good distraction. Greganoush is not distracted enough. He sees Shikali coming in, and Shikali gets out anyway. Good job there by Shikali, adjusting his route a little bit. Uh, but he does have a little, oh, not much speed, and Knutson has just respawned. He's down to 330 health. In the meantime, Crystallite doing a bit of an e-grab. He does drop the flag, though. Uh, Shikali's still making it all the way back to his base. One more sniper shot will do it, but uh, LB has picked up his flag. We are going to go switch to him. He's just been chained down by Streen, and Paler is there to try and do something, but no, the flag gets returned. Shikali coming in for the final, for the third cap, rather. Sorry, not the final. And there we go, the 3-0 cap, so some nice... Nice play there by Streen to take out Knutson. Nice uh, grab by Shikali. A little bit of missed defense there by uh, Greganoush, but nonetheless, good play all around. A um, couple missed shots there gave him gave Shikali. Uh, I would say a free cap, but a uh, you know he only had 3:30 health, one shot at long any time on his right would have taken him out, and it might have been a lot more, a lot closer, but. You know, snipers obviously can't hit every shot or else they'd be bots. So LB coming in here to do some distracting as his impaler. He was trying to do a back to front. It's not going to work. LB's going to pick it up instead. He's probably not going to get very far. He is down to 157. Punts it off. Uh, Miri is sort of in the midfield. He is. Flag's going to bounce right over him. And this is going to be easy return for Icy Pan there. Uh, unfortunate bounce there for Miri. Not much he could have done there. Um, and there were just too many people, guy, too many guys there. Regardless, he would have been taken down very quickly. Uh, we are going to keep an eye on the working his intended stand now, though, because I'm curious to see how the distraction does and how they do against the cappers. Arcadizzle does have a bead there already on Impaler. Impaler's still got good half health. LB gets taken out really fast. Uh, Impaler's coming in now trying to make it a grab, but he does get taken out by G Reaper. Good defense there. Uh, Crystal Light coming in a little bit late to do some distracting. And he just gets taken out by G Reaper as well, who's being a bit of a beast. Uh, so we are going to swap over here to the mixed team stand. Uh, Knutson just up top doing some sniping. I wonder if they're having any sniper duels. Probably not. It's probably a waste of their time, honestly. Um, Streen has been spotted already. He's coming in in a raider. He's about to be heavily dueled, though. FX is coming in to take care of him so that Knutson can stay alive. That's some good, deep, solid defense there. If Knutson does not go down, it's unlikely that any cappers are going to be able to make it in very easily because of the high arcs that they have on the rads. You see Shikali there. Sniper shots are already going in. Icy Pan does manage to take Knutson out, though, so if he gets a... he's not going to be able to re... oh, he is regening in time. That's going to be perfect. Icy Pan is keeping Greganoush busy, and he even mid-airs him just to finish it off. Shikali getting out with a like, full health grab here, basically. 800. Sniper Knutson has just respawned, and there was a nice shot taking him down to 312. One more shot should do the trick, and it does. He does go down Crystal Light with the E-grab in the meantime. Are there any chasers on there? Going to be able to get this Streen in the meantime, picking up the flag from the field. Uh, NVC returning his flag. Uh, FX coming in here to try and dual screen a little bit. And Paler goes in, gets a little bit of an E, but it doesn't go anywhere. Streen with 825. Down 152. Some amazing chain gun fire. FX does kill him, but it is bouncing directly onto the stand. Unlucky there for the mixed team as G Reaper picks it up and gets the cap. Ooh, some unlucky play, unfortunately, for the mixed team, but some nice chain gunning there. That was very, very well done. Took him down in, you know, no time whatsoever. 
So very impressive chain gunning. Unfortunately, it didn't quite pay off for them as they are now staring down the 4-0 hole. I believe it's to 7 uh, because we are playing with European rules, I think. Uh, as we do see another strike coming out here. It's going to be Crystal Light again. Uh, the strikes didn't have much of an impact on the game last time. I wonder if they are instantly going to counter with their own strike and maybe ram it or just take care of it. And here, indeed, they are. They are going to counter strike with strike. Um, this is certainly an effective strategy. It's going to tie up both, you know, two players as Johnny unfortunately rams his strike right down here. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, but he does go down, and it looks like I don't know if they will have enough credits for another Shrike. Shrikes are very expensive in this game. Uh, so it may just be Crystal Light uh, having his way for a little while here in this Shrike. Uh, so that'll be very interesting to see how they use it. He's trying to mow over Archidizzle, but he's already very low. His shrike, they are focusing down that Shrike. It is not going to last very long. He's going to have to go out and repair it. That's going to cost a lot of time. And you see there he is going behind the mountain as LB is coming in here to do some additional distracting. He's mowing down G, G Reaper. G Reaper does go down. NVC is the only one on the stand as well as the sniper. Impaler has already been spotted. And he's a good 10 seconds out though. So it's likely everyone's going to respawn. Crystal Light though. Going with a Shrike grab. I didn't know if those were allowed or not. But good, good, good job or thoughts or whatever you want to call it anyway as he does go down but LB picks it up this could be the first cap for the mixed team but no Shakali comes in there at the last second makes a nice e-grab and he does get taken down Shakali's still getting free and a return coming out of nowhere someone comes flying in I even get to see who that was Shakali making it all the way back to his base 202 health one shot from Knutson would take care of him and it does good shot unfortunately there's no one here to even do anything so Icy Pan's just gonna be able to pick this up make it a 5-0 game and it does look like it is to seven uh, so good job there by Crystal Light coming up with the Shrike Cap. Uh, unfortunately, because he was in Technician, not Raider, uh, he didn't get to survive nearly as long as he might have otherwise. Uh, but, you know, Technician was obviously the right choice. <clears throat> Just a little bit of slacking play there on the defense, letting that flag get returned quite so easily. As Impaler comes in there after some nice Murph spamming by Crystal Light, and he's getting out with full health. Pretty solid speed, too, boosting even along. That even messed up Arkadizzle's shot a little bit, so some good strategy there. Streen might be able to cut him off, but Epix is already dueling him. Icy Pan is also there, ready and waiting. He might have to go for an E-grab here. He is going for the E, picks it up. Greg Anusha is not on the stand, and Impaler is going to try and get this return, but he's in a dangerous position. You don't want to be inside the base. 550 health people are coming in to try and take care of him. Shakali coming in after him. He's just running away right now. Icy Pan does go down. Or does drop the flag, rather. Arkadizzle gets taken out. Icy Pan has no health. Someone needs to go chase him. He does punt it down into the field. Uh, there are a couple of people coming in here. Streen and NVC. Impaler comes in, gets the return. A nice return. And Epix land on the flag. No NVC coming in. Not going to be enough. They do get the cap. Making it a 5-1 to one game. Good job by Mix there. Getting the cap. Miri with a continuation grab. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Bullshit game, apparently, by NVC. But I don't know why he's complaining. They're still at 5-1. to one. Uh, And Johnny gets the return off of Miri's grab. So still some solid defense here from working as intended. I mean, um, the mixed team has gotten a lot of grabs off, and they've only gotten one cap out of it. I think they've gotten more grabs off than than working as intended, but, uh, you know, the, the strong defense chasing and prevention and, you know, the e-grabs have really been working out very well for working as intended, and they've managed to preserve this 4-1 to lead with just under 7 minutes to go. They're probably going to be able to take this pretty easily, as Impaler gets another grab off, but he has no health. Anything will kill him, and Arkadizzle does oblige taking him down. There wasn't nearly enough distracting going on there. I think they just had a little bit of miscue with the timing as Crystal Light slides right by the flag. Oh boy. NVC tries to get a return, and he finally does just as he was about to go down. Icy Pan, in the meantime, doing a little bit of a llama grab. He's got no health. He's going to need to punt this off. He does not punt it off. Johnny is able to pick it up, though. Some sniper fire coming in. He's down to just under 1,000 health. Epic's mowing him down as Impaler's also there. And he does end up having to toss the flag. NVC coming in to try and grab it. Epix trying to return it. No, Icy Pan comes flying back out in Pathfinder. Does get the does get the grab. He's got some funny thing following him. Some fun jetpack. He is down to 78 health though, and LB grabs his flag. And uh, who gets he gets Nitron though. He does toss the flag off to Arkadizzle, and the flag is returned. This could be six to one, and it is. Um, so some good play there by Icy Pan, switching his spawns to grab the flag, and. Uh, yeah, he saved his team, got his team that cap there, because that probably would have been returned if he hadn't come in there. There were a lot of, a lot of dueler things going on there, and his speed that he came in with is just enough to take care of business. So, 6-1, to one, 4 working is intended, just over 5 and a half minutes left to go here on the clock for the first map. Uh, once again, I don't know how many maps are going to be played, I assume at least one more, probably a third one, uh, as this is a warm-up for the ESL. 
uh, tournament, so that's my guess. Uh, don't hold me to it. I could very easily be wrong. Uh, Crystalite here getting <laughs> mowed down, and he does get taken out by NVC, so no distracting other than Miri, who's going to come up here and melee Arcadizzle in a second here. There we go. He does go down. Uh, this is going to buy him a little bit of time, but Impaler is not even close, unfortunately. LB is sort of distracting two people, but it's not going to be enough, as they do seem to be running with a four defense strategy, as Icy Pan picks up the flag again, but he has taken out. Shakali is waiting there in the midfield, though. Boosts and misses the flag, unfortunately. He's already low again. Tried to punt it, but does, unfortunately, miss the punt. Johnny is there to pick it up. No, he misses it, and FX gets the return. In the meantime, though, Impaler making a grab for the mixed team. He's got not much health at all. One sniper shot will finish him off. Going at 200, though. He's back to his base. He does punt it off. Mm, LB is going to pick it up. A nice pick up there by LB. Icy Pan would have gotten it otherwise. Icy Pan does go down, so this might be a second cap. LB drops it. Must have been a Nitron or something from somewhere I didn't see. Uh, Miri is going to pick it up. He's got no health, though. Stream is going to chain him down very quickly. And does FX needs to come pick up his flag? He does. Come on, make it up here and toss it off or something. And we probably are going to be looking at our second cap. No, he gets Nitron, and the flag does go right down in the field. He's going to try and pick it up, but he has no health. He needs to be careful here. He's going to toss the flag. He tosses it over the stand. That never works, people. NVC, in the meantime, making the E-grab. That's going to be enough to do it. LB is going to pick up the flag, but he's being chased down here by Johnny. Uh, Crystal Light explodes in midair as uh, NVC does a nice uh, Shrike kill there. He does go down. He tries to sort of punts it off a little bit, buying his team a little bit of time. This is going to be returned, though. They can't prevent that. And in the meantime, LB is moving his way there. And there we go. Cap number two for the mixed team. Great play by them. Uh, they made it a little harder on themselves, chucking the flag over the stand there. But uh, in the end, they got the cap. So solid play from them. Good job by them. Uh, it's fun to see. And uh, I don't think they can make a comeback in three minutes. But, you know, they could easily get another cap off and make the scoreline look a little bit more respectable than a 6-2. I mean, you know, don't forget, they are a mixed team, obviously. So even two caps is, you know, a fairly solid thing to do, but, you know, it's, at the very least, they've made it incredibly interesting. And Paler coming in here to try and make another grab. He does. I really have to sneeze, but I don't feel like sneezing yet, so I'm going to hold it in. Uh, and Paler, 900 health getting out. Going 220. The sniper has just re is not even playing sniper anymore. He switched to Pathfinder for some reason or another. Um, and Impaler even disc jumps. Disc jumps again. 346. He could make this a second cap. Icy Pan comes in with the E grab at the last second. Does try to mid air him. Does not get the mid air off. And he does go down. This could be a quick return. But oh, Stream was there to pick it up. But unfortunately, it went down. Greganoosh with the return. And. And. LB picks up the flag, boosts himself up. Can Shikali come in in time? No, he cannot. And they do get a third cap off. Great play there by the mixed death. Keeping that, uh, NVC making a grab here, just sort of, because he can. Crystalite in the meantime doing exactly the same thing, but Crystalite has dropped the flag. NVC in the meantime does get sniped down by Knosun. Icy Pan is here to pick it up, and they didn't realize that because he was cloaked, but a nice Nitron or a kill, followed by a return. And both flags are returned there as the mixed group of whatever was going on there lost the flag as well. So great play here by both teams. Uh, certainly making it exciting for everyone involved. Ah, I really need to sneeze, but I can't. Um, okay, so not much to talk about actually here with uh, just over, just under two minutes left to go. Sorry. Uh, it is possible to tie up this, you know, get three caps, but it's really not going to happen. So it's just a matter of playing this map out, seeing if anyone can finish this off. As Shakali does go in, and uh, Greganoosh takes him out. Does some good play there by Greganoosh. He's been pretty solid most of the game. Uh, and Paler getting out with another grab, but he's got no health. Nine health. Uh, he might be able to make it, or at least a little bit further. I don't see Arcadizzle anywhere. He must have just been taken out there. He does spawn. Oh, he tries to make a nice toss off there to Miri, but unfortunately it didn't matter, or didn't manage to. Uh, Miri is boosting himself a little way. He's only got 350 health, down to 30. Gets chained down rapidly by NBC. He's just going to be an easy return as no one else is there. It's Johnny is also there. Oh, a nice shot out of nowhere. Impaler comes in, takes him out, boosts the flag, and manages to grab it. So Shikali coming in here. He does toss the flag off. Oh, Shikali goes down right before he manages to get that FX. Did pick it up, but he's very low. He does get taken out as well by Streen. Miri coming in here for the grab. Does manage to get the grab. Greganoosh is keeping that flag solid on their stand. Come on, see if you can get this fourth cap here. I know it's not going to make a difference, but go for it anyway. Icy Pan coming in, makes the E-grab. No, does not make the E-grab. He's spotted first, and there we go. They do get the fourth cap off. So, so great play here by Mixed towards the end of the game. Uh, working as intended, really dominated the game early on, but unfortunately now for them, they're just not. LB coming in here, trying to make this a lot more interesting, but he does get sniped by Arcadizzle. That's a shame. If he'd punted it, they may have been able to get a fifth cap, and then a grab would have turned it into a, uh, 
standoff and overtime, but instead it looks like this game will be finished in just over, just under 30 seconds rather. That's not enough time to get the cap off. Impaler's gonna try, boosts himself, trying to go nowhere though. Arcadizzle does snipe him down. Shikali's gonna get the easy return. LB coming in here to try and do something, but no, there's the return. Uh, in the meantime, there the mixed teams flag was dropped, picked up and dropped in the field. Uh, so good play here from both teams. They made it very interesting. Uh, Ten total caps. We'd love to see that. Uh, yeah, I mean, working is intended clearly working out a couple things. Uh, no pun intended there, actually. Uh, but they did manage to get six caps off, and then the mixed team responded brilliantly with, I think it was three consecutive caps. So, you know, props to them. You know, they really turned it around there at the end. They had a lot of grabs throughout. So good play by them overall, and I'm, I'm going to be very in interested to see how the next maps play out, uh, because I have no idea what they are. So thank you everyone for watching, I am Doc Lettuce, you've been watching the Yodelcast and a friendly scrim between a mixed team and working as intended. Please stay tuned for map 2 and hopefully map 3.